We're tracking a low pressure system developing in the Gulf that brought some rainfall to southern Louisiana today, and it could bring some heavy rainfall on Wednesday. And that's if the low pressure system tracks more to the west. So that's what this model is showing you. It'll be another hot day tomorrow, already in the upper 70s for 9, and then warming up throughout the day, 89 for the afternoon high, which would break the record. Once we reach the afternoon, we see some stronger storms developing and moving through the Baton Rouge area around 3 or 4, and then those storms push off to the east. But then we have a cold front that's going to drop south, bringing our second chance for rain early Sunday morning with some stronger storms embedded in that line. That's right, Haley. I'm outside the PMAC right now where the National Championship Parade is set to end tomorrow. While it is breezy out here right now, it's still feeling like a summer afternoon as we're experiencing above normal temperatures for this time of year. Happy Valentine's Day. If you have any Valentine's date night plan or Galentine's Day plans, we will have to watch for some scattered showers throughout the evening. Some of these storms could be strong. The Storm Prediction Center issuing a one out of five marginal risk for Baton Rouge and majority of the state. So with these stronger storms, we could see some damaging winds and hail. Now for Wednesday, it's just going to be some light scattered showers. Thursday, we have those stronger storms. These winds are already starting to be strong and could get stronger as these storms from the west approach our area within a few hours. Now we'll be staying dry and warm through Thursday. Friday is our next chance of rain as this cold front drops to the south. Should be mostly dry throughout the day, but we do have that small rain chance throughout the day. So just in case, have that umbrella with you if you're heading to class. That line really starts to condense later in the evening, moving through Baton Rouge around 7, 7.30, where we could see some possible severe weather, the main threats being damaging winds, and we can't rule out the possible tornado. So hot day on Wednesday. We do have that rain chance continuing through the weekend. Easter Sunday, we do have that small rain chance, so just be aware if you have any outdoor plans on Sunday, and then we start to dry out at the beginning of next week. Hey, welcome back. I'm Sydney Goldberg with your weekly weather update. We're tracking a low pressure system developing in the Gulf that brought some rainfall to southern Louisiana today, and it could bring some heavy rainfall on Wednesday. And that's if the low pressure system tracks more to the west. So that's what this model is showing you. It pushes inland. We see some rain moving in the Baton Rouge area around lunchtime in the afternoon. We could see some heavier rainfall moving through later in the afternoon and evening. So this is Wednesday at 7. Now, if that low pressure system decides to track more to the east, most of that heavy rainfall will stay off to the coast and push more to the east, not really affecting us so much. So depending on that track, we'll really determine how much rainfall we'll see on Wednesday. So Wednesday right now, I've got 40% chance of rain for later in the morning and then increasing to 60% later in the afternoon and evening. Temperature is not so bad, staying in the low 70s through the afternoon. So just in case, have that rain gear with you if you're walking to class on campus, have the umbrella and rain jacket. So those rain chances will continue through Thursday associated with that Gulf low. Sunshine returns on Friday and we warm up. Temperatures in the 80s on Friday. And then those rain chances return this weekend, 60% on Saturday, associated with a cold front that's going to move through. And then that sunshine returns at the beginning of next week on Monday and Tuesday. Now back to you at the desk. Although hurricanes are usually the disaster that comes to mind concerning Louisiana, <coughs> tornadoes are no strangers to the state. And peak tornado season is here. The National Weather Service says that 70% of all tornadoes in the United States occur during the months of March and June. And recent tornado outbreaks in the South have been occurring earlier than the typical season. Um, there has been some research recently that suggests that uh, we are seeing an, uh, a legitimately increasing frequency of tornadoes in this Dixie Alley region. And Louisiana is a part of this region. Casey Tingle, the director of the governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness, has noticed the increasing pattern within the state. We're seeing more severe weather uh, the past several years than we had seen previously. With the arrival of peak tornado season and the possibility of more severe weather events and tornadoes in Louisiana, even outside of the typical months, I asked LSU students if they knew what to do if a tornado warning was issued on campus. I'm running. Like, a warning? No, I don't know. High under a table? I have no idea. You Honestly, I'm going to the bank. The Campus Federal, I bet you has a vault. Those vaults, those are like safe, so. With many students and LSU employees occupied on campus with classes and activities, it can be difficult to pay attention to the weather. Ghost Up director Casey Tingle shares ways LSU students and Louisiana residents can be more weather aware. Having the emergency alerts turned on your phone, 
uh, for those that are LSU students being able to receive alerts from the schools, um, following the National Weather Service. All of those are good ways to stay in touch with what may be happening a day or two ahead of time so that you have time to prepare. Staying weather aware and having a plan is the best way you can stay safe during severe weather events and tornadoes this spring season. For Tiger TV, I'm Sydney Goldberg.